Would you like to know how I use the typical sticky note or post-it note to organize? Well, stay tuned. Hi guys, this is Ty from HisAndHerMoney.com where we're managing money, marriage, and everything in between. I am so excited about today's video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I incorporate the post-it note in my home to help me stay organized. But I also invited other YouTubers to take in on the fun too. They will be showing you guys their many tips and techniques on how they use post-it notes to organize in their home. Make sure you check out their videos in the description box below. All right guys, well without further ado, let's get started. So I'm here in my office and currently right now I am compiling a financial report from my church. So I'm putting together a financial report from my church. I am currently on uh, the financial department team as a, a treasurer, one of the treasurers, and my job duty is to put together the financial reports for each and every month. It's very time consuming. It takes a lot of hours and oh my gosh, by the time I finish it feels like my head is about to explode. So one way that I stay on top of everything and to make notes for myself is that I use the sticky flags as well as the post-it notes. Now you don't have to use the actual brand post-it notes. Dollar Tree sells post-it notes as well as the flags. This, these particular flags my husband picked up for me at a fair that he was at. He knows that I love this stuff so he came home and said I have a surprise for you. And he had about four or five of these little things and I was excited that he did and happy that he did because I do use these a lot. I keep them in my nightstand. I use them uh, in books to keep uh, the pages of important reminders that I would like to remember while I'm reading a book, as well as I incorporate it in my organizational system. So right now I'm putting together the financial report for my church, as I mentioned, and here are some of the requisitions as well as receipts. I do have them turned over for privacy uh, reasons, of course, but you guys can kind of see the color flag sticking out. So what I do is when I come across something that maybe I have a question about, maybe I need to ask someone else on my team uh, if they're familiar with this particular payee or why did this cost this price and things like that, I'll put a flag on the particular um, page or receipt that I have a question for. And what's nice about these flags is that you can write right on top of them. They're writable. So you can write the reminder or let's say you're sitting down and you're doing your bills and you need to call uh, your bill company maybe your cell phone company and you have a question and you can't really remember, put a flag or a post-it note right on that bill with your question so when you're calling them you have your thoughts put together and you're able to ask your question. So that's what I do. So right now you see I have quite a few and guys this is just one week of the reports and uh, I have quite a few flags, different color flags uh, on some of the receipts that I have questions about. And then what I do here is I put a post-it note on the outside of the folder. And as you can see, this one is titled church for my church. And I, I will list down the questions that I have here. So when I do speak to them either on the phone or in person, I can answer that. I'll put the answer down to each question or I'll mark it off. Like, okay, I asked that question or I figured this out, I figured that out. And when I'm finished with these post-its, I simply put them in the inside. I don't want to open it, like I said, because I do have some important financial information here for my church, but I'll open up in the inside and I would stick these to the inside of the opposite side of the folder. That way I keep it as a record. Um, I do have, I can um, cross-reference any, any questions that I may have maybe for the following week or the following months and I have it here on file. Now guys, I also do this for my medical files. As I mentioned, my children, I take them to the pediatrician. I have a, my son, he takes medication daily for asthma as well as certain allergies. And so I'll write down any questions that I may have and I'll use the large, the large memo pad. And this is by the Post-it brand. I took this off so you guys can see it. Uh, this is the recycled notes by the uh, Post-it brand, super sticky. And I don't know where I got these from, maybe, I can't remember the store, one of the office supply stores, but because my husband is in the education field, we get a lot of this, these items uh, on discount or on sale or sometimes even free. So we have some of this stuff on hand as well as uh, the post-it notes like here. And I'm gonna show you guys this later. But what I do is I write down any questions that I may have for my son's pediatrician. And then I'll take this same post-it note and I'll put it in the inside of my, I have a small little daily 12 month calendar that I keep in my purse 
to put appointments or anything in there, uh, any schedule appointments that I may have. And so after I write all the questions down, I'll put this post-it note inside of my daily planner that I carry around in my purse. So when I'm in the doctor's office, I can pull it out, my thoughts are put together, uh, and I'm not sitting there saying, oh my goodness, I remember there was something I needed to ask you, and then I leave the doctor's office and I totally forgot and I'm calling the doctor's office. So no, once he answers the questions, I'll put the an once he answers the questions, I'll put the answers here on the post-it note. Sometimes if he changes his medication, I'll write a note, a special note about that as well too, on that same sticky note. Then I take that same sticky note and I'll put it inside of, I have a medical file, and I will be showing you guys a detailed video on how I file all of my paperwork here at home, but I have a medical file for each person here in my family where I keep lab works and things like that blood work and uh, just anything that has to do with medical information and I'll take the post-it and I'll stick it inside of his file so therefore I'm able to cross-reference. Now if there's some of you guys who take medication uh, on a daily basis such as maybe uh, high blood pressure medication or medication for diabetes lab work is so important so if you're not asking for your lab work at your doctor's office you want to definitely ask for a copy of your lab work before you leave the office um you should be able to get them for free because you should be able to uh, get them if you ask for them and take post-it notes and if your doctor has you change your medication and maybe your blood work changed somewhat it went up or went down make a notation of that and then stick it inside of your medical file or stick it in on top of your blood work. So therefore, when you're going through your blood work from month to month and you may see that you have a good month or a low month, you're able to cross-reference and remember how much of a particular medication that you were taking at that time or what you were taking at that time. I cannot tell you guys, that's one thing that we do here and it helps a lot. I also wanted to show you guys this. I do keep this particular, um, I don't know what, what's this called, but this is a from the Post-it brand as well too. Uh, this is the diamond. I've seen them in the high heels. They have them in different, um, different, I don't know, designs. And this is a diamond um, holder. And the Post-it post notes goes right inside of here. And what I love this, about this is I keep it right here on my desk so I have them readily accessible. So you just pull it out and then another one pops right up. But those do take a special type of uh, Post-it note. Now I'm not sure if the Dollar Tree sells uh, the kind that uh, is sticky on the opposite side. So it has to kind of, see it's made exactly for pop-up note dispensers because one side is sticky on one end and then when you pull it out on the other end, it's sticky. So I'm not sure if the Dollar Tree sells this type of um, sticky notes, but if they do guys, leave me a comment below. I would love to know that because to pay $1 for this product would be great. Um, but Post-it Note sells this brand. They come in a, a range of colors and I love it guys, it just helps me keep everything in order. So guys, this is just one way that I incorporate post-it notes as well as sticky flags to stay organized. So this is probably by far uh, my most favorite use of the post-it notes. I recently showed you guys a video of my bill paying caddy. If you all have not checked that out, I'll make sure that I'll link it below as well as on the screen so you can definitely check it out. But in my bill paying caddy, I keep this clear envelope uh, that I picked up from the container store and I put all of my banking needs in this envelope, whether it be deposits that I need to take to the bank, checks and cash, or even uh, if I need to make a withdrawal. And so every single month when my husband and I would sit down and we do the budget, there are some uh, budget line categories that we use strictly cash for. So I, I have to go to the bank in the beginning of the month to pull out cash to bring home and put it in, in envelopes. And um, so when we figure out how much money for each category that we're going to need the actual cash for, some of the categories that we use cash strictly for is our fun money, what well, my husband does for his fun money, or some may call it allowance, but we call it fun money. Um, groceries sometimes, sometimes money for the kids or doctor co-pays and things like that. So we sit down and we figure out, okay, how much cash do we need to take out of the bank? And so what I do is I take a post-it note and I write, and this is just an example because I did not want to put our real numbers here on this uh, post-it note for privacy reasons. So this is just an example, but this is how it will look. And um, I'll write the month and I'll write how much money that we need to take out. So in this case, it was $295 and uh, by each one like dollar bill or five dollar bill ten dollar bill or twenty dollar bill i'll put how many of that particular bill that i need so we can have a mixture of it 
and what I do is and let me see if I can take it out well I guess I don't have to take it out but you guys can kind of see see that it's an extra it's actually an extra, uh, extra pocket here in this envelope and as I mentioned I picked this up from the container store and it was under three dollars very inexpensive um, but on the sticky side of the post-it note is where I write the denominations and how many we need of, of that particular bill and this is for the um, clerk at the bank now I'm sure that all of you guys are aware of that anytime you go to the bank whether you go through the drive through or you go inside of the lobby I personally never like talking or speaking out loud or even whispering how much money I need or if I need the bills broken up okay for one I have worked in the banking field before and it's actually very dangerous it's not safe to yell through the intercom or even inside of the lobby and you're saying okay can I get five five dollar bills ten ten dollar bills you're letting everyone know whether they're in the drive up or whether they're inside of the bank how much money you're actually taking out of the bank so for safety reasons I don't do that sure you can write it down on a separate sheet of paper but I don't even do that because as you guys can see the common theme here uh, with me using post-it notes in my home I reuse them they're really not, uh, in my case, I don't use them just for one-time use and toss it. I reuse them. I actually file them away uh, because I need them for references. And in this case, I do the same exact thing. So what I do is um, I'll stick it on the inside of this envelope here. And the cash as well as the checks are inside of the zipper, the zipper part, okay? So when I give this to the clerk, she or he does they don't even need to pull this out because it's in a separate sleeve nothing's in there and they're able to see it right there on you know right there on top and they're able to give me my cash just how I like it I receive a lot of compliments from the um, the people working at the bank saying thank you so much if everybody came this organized this would be great and it helps you know it, it pretty much saves a lot of time because they don't have to ask me if I need it broken up and I don't have to tell them they immediately see it right there and so what they do is they put the cash back inside of this envelope when they give it to me and when I go home I'll pull this post-it note out so I pull it out and then when I flip it over this is um, all of the categories here and like I said this is not this is not our actual numbers here um, for privacy reasons but when my husband and I we sit down we figure out how much we need I write it on the opposite side of this post-it note and when I go home I actually I have a budget folder that I keep in my file cabinet as well too and this goes right in the inside of the folder I don't want to open it up like I said I have a lot of financial information in there but it goes right like that on the inside of the folder and um, we're able to see a trend for the I, I, sometimes I keep them for three four months it just depends um, how long I want to keep it but sometimes we're able to look back onto the previous months and we may say okay we didn't use this much cash for the kids so maybe we can scale back or we use more you know entertainment maybe we need to consider going up an extra twenty dollars or something like that so I use it for um, to keep notes sure I can go online and look on our online budgeting software but it's very difficult to do that because I would have to pull up each month when I can just see it right here side by side and how much okay this is how much we spent for May this is how much we spent in June July August September and so on so I absolutely absolutely love 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 this use of the post-it notes and how I incorporate it here within my banking needs for my home so I'm still here in my office and I am sitting at my desk and I recently purchased this desk calendar from Target at the one spot and I paid 30 cents for this calendar if some of you guys watch my Target hauls uh, I showed you guys where I purchased this calendar this is my first time um, purchasing a calendar from the one spot and this is the desk version and I absolutely love it, it it's a weekly calendar and as the weeks go by you just rip off the top page and another week is down below but what I love about this calendar and I know this video is not strictly about calendars right now but I'm gonna show you guys the post-it note in just a second but what I love about a calendar like this and by the way this only costs one dollar regular price which is still a great price but I did pay 30 cents for it because I was able to get it for 70 percent off but what I love about this calendar is I can write my to-do list I don't like having a lot of lists all around the house that's why I use a lot of sticky notes because I do reuse them as I showed you guys in some of the previous footage, I'll take this sticky note and I may put it inside of my uh, budget folder or I might put it in my planner that's in my, my purse. I reuse them. 
sometimes notes that you can't stick on things, they can get lost. My one year old daughter loves to come here on my desk and take different sheets of paper off of my desk and just walk around the house with it randomly. So I love my sticky notes uh, because of the reason they do stick and the stick is pretty good on the hold and you can reuse them. But this calendar, I can put my to-do list for each and every day and I love it because when I sit down at my desk, I can just briefly just take a look at this and it's a snapshot um, and I can kind of see some to-dos that I need to get taken care of during the day. But what I do is when I plan out my entire week, I usually know if there's a day during the week that I'm going to be away from home. Either I'm doing my mystery shopping uh, and, and my uh, parents may be keeping the children or I just have errands that I need to run, maybe grocery shopping and things like that. So in that event, I don't write my to-do list on the actual calendar like you see here. I stick a post-it note on that particular date and when I see the post-it note, this lets me know that this is probably a day that I'm gonna be away from the home. And I put my to-do list on the sticky note because before I leave my home, I take the note with me and I put it in my planner. I have a small little daily planner, 12 month planner. You can get them for a dollar from Walmart. I got mine from uh, my son's pediatrician office, but I've gotten them from Walmart in the past. I take this sticky note off like this and I put it right inside of my planner. And I'm able to, or I've either put it on my clipboard. I do keep a clipboard if I'm doing any mystery shopping for that day. I'll put it on the clipboard so I can see my to-dos, such as go to the bank, I need to return some items to Walmart, I need to update church report, pick up birthday gifts, and pr prepare for a seminar that I'll be teaching. Some of these items, um, these to-do lists does not require me to be away from the home, but I don't wanna have two lists. I don't wanna make a sticky note for things to do outside of the home and then write a list here for things that I need to do in the home. It's just confusing. So I just write everything that I need to get done for that day on the post-it note so I can transport this and take this with me when I leave the home. And this is just one way, another way, that I incorporate this sticky note. And I absolutely love this, love this idea. I incorporate this and I do this as well too on uh, my wall calendar. And I'll show you guys a shot of that uh, in just a second. And I'll put it on my wall calendar if I need to um, have a certain reminder jump out at me so I can make sure that I don't double book myself um, if we're shooting a podcast or if I just have to run errands, take the kids to school or to the doctor's office. I don't like to overbook myself. And this is just one way that I keep everything calm in our home. So here's my dry erase board that I have here in my office and it is a calendar. It is by the Quartet brand and I purchased this from Staples maybe about two years ago. And I absolutely love it. I love having calendars in my home because our schedule is very hectic and I need to keep up with it. So this is a recent, um, a recent change that I have been doing in my, on my calendar here at home. And what sparked this is my husband and I, we have a podcast show and we film, we record, I'm sorry, we record during the evening times. And we typically put our, podcast uh, schedule on Google Calendar, which has been working. Until recently, we had a hiccup where we double booked. We had something that we were doing on that day as well as we booked a podcast uh, interview on that day. And it was very, very embarrassing. I don't like wasting people's time. Um, I just don't because they were generous enough to give of their time. So I don't like to waste their time. And so I had to regretfully contact the person and send an email for our mistake because my husband and I, we somehow overlooked the calendar. He was, he booked something and I believe he booked the interview and I booked something else. So now to alleviate all of that, I now incorporate spots on the calendar strictly that lets me know, Hey, we have to do an interview on this day. And I don't write it down on the calendar because I don't want to totally X out that day. But I know during a certain time that we do all of our interviews that, hey, this is an interview day. So we want to make sure that we avoid this day uh, if at all possible. So what I was doing was I was using the magnets. These are just, you know, Expo board magnets or regular magnets that you can put on the fridge or on these boards. And I was using these and I would just put it on the day like this. Well, believe it or not, it didn't jump out to me and I really honestly overlooked it. So I started to put the little post-it note. This is a small size version of post-it note, very bright. And this lets me know without a shadow of a doubt, usually I'm sitting down at my desk when I'm uh, putting something in on my calendar and I'll just do a quick glance and I'll look up and I'll say, oh, 
check the Google Calendar on the 9th, you know, and make sure that you're not overbooking or that you're not scheduling something during uh, an important time slot. And it doesn't have to just be for uh, our podcast. If it's something extremely important, like we have to go to a banquet on one of these nights, this lets me know, avoid this day at all possible. And here's another tip too, guys, what I do. I also keep another calendar. I'm full of calendars uh, because I have three children and a husband and we're extremely busy. Uh, but I picked up this calendar as well too from the Target One Spot for just 30 cents. But I've always done this. I'll keep an extra 12 month calendar below my Expo Board calendar for the next month. Because you know how sometimes when you're sitting down at the desk or whatnot or you're making a phone call, or maybe you're making a doctor's appointment and you're not on the current month and you'll also forget that, oh man, I also have an appointment on let's say May 7th. Well, I'll put it down. Uh, I'll put my schedule here on my calendar so I can have a month at a glance. And I absolutely love this. It works for us because sometimes my husband will say, hey, are we doing anything on May 7th? And instead of me having to look in the planner and my purse or something like that, I'm right here in my office. And this is the board where the entire family, my husband can also see it as well too. We're able to kind of see a month ahead. And we absolutely love this, love this, love this, love this. Well, there you have it guys. I hope that you learned some different tips and techniques that maybe you can incorporate in your home to help you stay on top of things. Don't forget, as I mentioned, to check out the other ladies' YouTube channels below in the description box. They have wonderful videos to help you manage your home a whole lot better. Thank you ladies for participating in this challenge as well. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment below letting me know how you use post-it notes in your home to stay organized. Don't forget, visit us over at our website at hisandhermoney.com. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, guys, what are you waiting for? We put out videos every single week, every single Sunday. We have Sunday night sit downs at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where my husband joins me and we talk about anything from money to marriage to family, you name it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's been great. So until next time, bye.